the government at the central is doing its best to see that he repositioned Nigeria. Nigeria has gone back decayed on aspect of economy. We do know before this government came into power, you know a lot of things has happened. And it takes time for him to stabilize the economy. This is the man who has courage, who has the courage. The only man, let me start from good luck. No, start from Obasajo. Obasajo wanted to remove wage subsidy. Could he? I asked him. He couldn't. Then uh, Yaradwa came, he tried it. He couldn't. Then good luck came. Could he? No. Even the almighty Buhari could not remove it. But this man came under his seconds. He removed it. You should expect that people will fight back. So, for me, I believe that it's just like a plane taking off. And you, you need to get to a cruising level before you can enjoy it. It's just patient people in Nigeria need to have. This is the best government for this country, I'm telling you. Look, before now, before Tinubu came into power, Tinubu is doing very well. Edo State was receiving allocation of 3.1 billion. But today, Edo State is receiving 11.1 or 11.3 billion. Huh? That is enough for a state government to stabilize his own state economy. But that money is not fair to you. And this same man had given palliative in, in when I mean palliative, not only on, on commodity like food, stuff and the rest, but on cash basis. He gave our state government, do you know how much he has given the state government, the federal state? And where is that money? Billions of Nairas. Nothing. And even the rights that he gave, he rebanked them. I don't know whether they were selling them, but people went into the warehouse. He was the one that organized the riot in those state. There was no reason for a riot here. Why were they rioting? So where is the riot? Is it when they bust into the rice warehouse, that now, the riot now stopped? It should have continued. The riot was not called for. There was no reason that we should, they should riot in those state. I don't believe say, that man waste time for that riot and he wasted those days, uh, our, our, our money. You yes, talk to the Nigerians, the patient. They go ask how long you want to speak with the patient. No, the problem Chain is not... People the, start to the, the job for streets because the, of hunger. The problem, sir, is not caused by the federal. The federal is doing his best. See, it, it has to flow from up down. You understand? And the man is giving to the down. But the, one, the man, the gatekeeper at the gate, at the middle, is the one that is not making it to flow down. Well, for me, I had thought that uh, Modi uh, Bevolo Ike Bakomiza and his handlers would help him to avoid this conversation. Part of the reasons why he's trying to actually avoid an actual interview, and of course the BBC here, um, they had to get him into one. And then, I don't know, Due respect to him, I think he wasn't smart in answering this question. Um, as it were, okay, there are two sides to this coin. The first is that as somebody in the APC and um, somebody who cannot win an election, he would need to endorse the sitting president so that the sitting president can offer him some level of uh, electoral support, right? Um, support from the central government so that he can ring him into power. At, at that point, that's one side. The second part is he's been able to help the people who are on the fence thinking that most likely he has a different ideology a different template a different um good goodies bag to offer the edo people with this endorsement of bola metinuba has been the best best president and his policies and programs being uh, in, in, intertwined with global best practices and common sense um, um understanding of what um, the renewed hope project looks like those people now can sit back to say, okay, this is a failure in these guys and we should not give him a chance. I'm happy that this interview was done well enough so that people can still make their decisions um, in the right order. Quite disappointing is to hear that somebody is trying to even use tier subsidy as part of the good policies of a, of, 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 of a government. Whereas people like Bakomiza would, again, it's, it's obvious he's going to replicate the failed a uh, cluelessness of um, the APC government at the center um, in the state. And I'm happy as he has taken this bold step.
to indict himself and indict his um, his followers that he is not a brainer in any way. Again, you cannot blame him. Uh, you cannot give what you don't have. And the APC as a party has shown to Nigeria that they are clueless, they are daft, they are uh, inept. They are um, a, a bunch of gang, um, criminal gang that do not believe in the growth of this country. Somebody even said in, in Pasi that um, there is an attempt by the APC government to depopulate the, um, the Nigerian people with harsh economic policies and programs and so that they, they, at least it will, it will be left for only them and their party members to, to remain in the country. Because I do not know why uh, Bola Metinibu would continue to use various state apparatus and in denial. The problem is in denial. It is only in this country where you will now begin to hear that there are various uh, uh, aspects of, of government or agencies that are increasing fear and the president is not aware or the president is saying that they are the ones doing it. In denial, it has never been this bad. When Bola Metinibu and his, and his gang were on the streets campaigning against Jonathan, but not, Jonathan did not deny that there was any reason why uh, the fear subsidy attempt to have been removed. Oh God. Painfully so that as a country we've, we've, we've gone to look at where we were in 2020, in 2011, 2012, and consider where we, where we are now. It's like moving for heaven to hellfire. We've moved drastically from heaven into hell and Bakomiza is coming to replicate that hell um, in a dual state and he has endorsed and said that Tinubu is the best president. After the Tinubu, Tinubu's wife and every, anybody around Tinubu would not even say that. Even Sheyi Tinubu, Sheyi Lo and a few others, the Tony Abraham that said the, she listened to Tinubu and the <laughs> It's painful how we have, um, how we have um, di di dilapidated into this, into this um, wanton embarrassment of his, of the people. And then, even the even the people that that were on Tinubu's, Shumule has stopped talk, stop talking about Tinubu because he's a failure, of course. But then, Bakumiza wasn't smart enough to have uh, moved away from. I look at how he endorsed him again. If you want him to read the election for you, you have to do that. But just in case you are in a dull state and you are thinking if Abakumiza would then will be i've said it before Abakumiza is is equal to jagaban and beverly is equal to tinubu they think i like same campaign strategy same uh in Wendu, same incoherent uh, uh, uh lifestyle same not so effective graphs of um of the societal dynamics and what happens in the on the streets so they are likely going to replicate each other's um, um, stupid um, ideologies. Unfortunately, there are people that do not care. They will still vote even if it's a dead coffin, or a dead body, or a coffin of, of, of that is presented and then uh, beside the APC flag. They will still vote them because, of course, they have confined themselves to status uh, 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 cluelessness. And they would always, always, at, at every given time, be proud that it's their party that is in power, whether or not they can feed or not. Whether or not they die tomorrow. And so it is ego for them. And a lot of the people you see campaigning for the APC around is about ego. Not about whether there will be development for the state, not about whether, whether there will be growth for the state. It's about ego. They just want to prove to you that they are in charge. And whether this food gets to them or not, it's not of their business. Of course, it has not get in, gotten to them. A lot of people campaigning for Bakumiza now. That's the same way they campaigned heavily for Tinubu. Till today, not a single sachet water has gotten to them. From the central government, whether personally or by way of uh, program and ideas from this central government that benefited them, nothing. And now they have been promised that if they, if they if they get to the power in uh, those states, that will be better for them. Some of them cannot even qualify for anything. So it is us, those of us that 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 the that whoever is in government or government policies and programs would decide how our economic fortunes um, 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 how, how, how best how best will become right we are the ones to determine who governs us because at the end of the day everything that happens in government would would affect us don't allow these idiots to decide for you i'll catch you another time